Just as the French have five mother sauces to French gastronomy, I believe there's five mother sauces that define barbecue. So I'm gonna walk you through each of the five mother sauces, and the idea is that you can use this as a template to create your own versions. In Kentucky, they separate themselves from the barbecue pack with their love of mutton, but it's also a black Worcestershire-based barbecue sauce that reigns king in the state. I'm gonna start out with two cups of water. We'll add to that half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and it gets its black barbecue sauce name with a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, another half cup of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and sort of the secret ingredient, half of a teaspoon of allspice. So we'll bring this to a boil, we'll reduce it down to a simmer for about 10 minutes, and again, we're really not looking for this to, to thicken up, it's still gonna be a very watery sauce. Okay, now that this has reached a boil, I've just reduced it down, it's been simmering for about 10 minutes, and it's still gonna be a very loose concoction. It's gonna really cut against the gamey flavor of the mutton. And it may sound a little bit strange to have a black barbecue sauce, but I promise it's been a favorite in Appalachia. It'll be a favorite in your home as well. In South Carolina, we change everything up with a mustard-based barbecue sauce. Now, most people will tell you that this sauce was derived due to the German immigrants that originally settled the area. And you can't have a mustard-based sauce without, well, yellow mustard. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of prepared yellow mustard. For some acidity, we're gonna to add to that a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. For some sweetness, we've got a half a cup of honey. We'll add in one tablespoon of brown sugar, another tablespoon of some ketchup, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of white pepper, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper for some heat. And we'll just whisk this until everything forms. Okay, so now that it's come together, I like to put this into a jar and let it set up in the fridge overnight. It's gonna really help bring those flavors together. And I'll just warm it until I'm ready to serve. It's one of my favorite condiments for french fries, onion rings, pulled pork, pork chops, and the best, smoked sausage. When most people think about barbecue sauce, they think about a sweet sauce that you find in Memphis and St. Louis and Kansas City. So let's put one of these together. We're gonna to start out with a cup of water. And then we'll add to that one cup of ketchup. And I mentioned sugar, so we're gonna add a good bit of brown sugar, a half a cup of loosely packed brown sugar. We're gonna add in just about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. So again, not too much acidity. To add in even more sweetness, we're gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of molasses. It's gonna give it a really nice, rich, dark color. And add some more sweetness. We've got a tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of fresh cracked pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and finally, one teaspoon of celery salt. Now that we've got all that mixed and combined, we wanna bring this to a slow and steady boil. We'll reduce the heat and cook it until it's just thickened. So we brought our sauce up to a boil. Now I've just reduced the heat down to low for about 10 minutes and simmered it until it's just thickened. And I like to serve this sauce with smoked chicken, ribs, pulled pork, or in my case, on top of some pulled pork nachos. So let's walk through the Eastern Carolina barbecue sauce. Now, truth be told, the purest of this sauce will only tell you that you need apple cider vinegar, salt, and crushed red pepper. Now, I've made a few additions here. So classic, we're gonna start out with three quarters of a cup of apple cider vinegar. We'll add in half a cup of ketchup. I like this because it kind of rounds things out. It adds more acidity to play off of that apple cider vinegar. We'll add in some lemon juice, about a tablespoon. So instead of crushed red pepper, I'm gonna add in some cayenne pepper, just a teaspoon that's gonna add some heat, one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar for sweetness, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. Now this is a sauce that you're typically gonna have on chopped pork as kind of a base for your ribs, chicken, uh, something that you would never put on 
beef. So now everything's in. I just want to make sure that I thoroughly combine the sauce. I like this because right now it's ready to rock and roll. We don't have to heat it up or anything else. And then I will use this as a sauce to fold in with some chopped or pulled pork, smoked chicken, or as a base for my ribs. Alabama, specifically Northern Alabama, is known for its mayonnaise-based white sauce. We start out with just a half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using Duke's mayonnaise here. We'll add to that two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of light brown sugar. For more acidity, we're gonna add a tablespoon of some lemon juice, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and for a little bit of spice, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just wanna make sure that I stir this completely together. Okay, now that it's all come together, I just like to chill this for about an hour until it's ready to serve. It's one of my favorite sauces for smoked chicken on chicken wings as a beef brisket side or my secret ingredient to a potato or shrimp salad. When you're traveling, you'll find that different pitmasters adjust their flavors to their tastes and preferences. There's no right rules, just what tastes good, go for it.